Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan, and today we are going to talk about the new black when it comes to air guns. And uh, let me just tell you, it's probably not exactly what you think. But we're going to talk Arca Rails, Arca Swiss, right? This seems to be the direction that everyone is heading whether it's from bipods from our friends over at AccuTac or it's from tripods that people are using to mount their guns to so that they can have a more steady shot at greater distances when out pesting. Arca Swiss is taking over the preferred mount in air guns. Uh, we've all dealt with Picatinny in the past, Weaver mounts, Picatinny, yeah, Picatinny, but uh, Arca is really taking off. Um, this is a Crawford and Lipped um, rail extension or trigger guard rail extension from uh, my FX Impact Ventress gun. And basically, for those of you guys that are out there, you know, you use these um, tripods to mount your uh, gun to. And, uh, you know, basically you slide your Arca rail in there, tighten up the mount on the gun itself, and then you have your Arca mounted gun on a tripod out in the field to do what you want with. Well, Crawford and Lipt has done it again. They have come out with something that I personally am in love with, and I'm about to show you exactly what that is. This is my bench rest gun, and it is mounted on the new Crawford and Lipt gravity rail. This is a shorter version of what, um, Crawford and Lipt has had in the past and you can see that basically the Arca on the long extended rail sticks out quite far. Um, this one puts all of your Arca right at the center of gravity with your gun. So you know you can swing this thing around on your Arca rail and uh, it's not so heavy that the gun wants to pivot. Um, as to where that can happen when you have this arc rail here and sitting out here. Now, if you're on a bench, that's fine. It's no big deal. But what about the guys that want to use the bipod? Or the guys who don't want a bunch of extra weight? Now, I don't think personally that this adds a ton of weight to my gun, and I think most people are going to agree with that. But one thing is, is that a lot of guys um, will use their impacts for pesting, things like that, and they have a much better feel of grabbing their bottle and not the bottom of an extended arc rail. These are just things that I've talked about with people to ask them why they don't necessarily want to run a long extended rail. Being that this is a bench rest gun, I want the long extended rail. Um, I mount my AccuTac um, Arca bipod to this. It gets it out far enough on the gun that my bipod's nice and uh, you know out in front of me. Uh, but having this short gravity rail really adds to the diversity of the gun, right? This basically um, takes the place of your stock. Um, Arca rail and it does have the T slots. Um, I don't have this tightened down, so it's not going to come off on yours when you tighten it down. But um, Crawford and Lip did uh, incorporate the T rail system, so you can actually have uh, a Picatinny mount if you have like a Picatinny bipod and then you still want to be able to lock this into your uh, Arca mount, right? And basically, like I said, it takes the weight and moves it to the center so that your gun is much more uh, balanced over the Arca rail and doesn't want to, uh, it makes it much easier, uh, in my opinion. Uh, that's a really nice mount, and like you can see, I mean, I'm spinning my gun around and, uh, you know, it's completely secure. I've played around with this quite a bit. So um, the other nice thing is, is that uh, once again, when we get out onto our um, Arca tripods, 
uh, when we're out in the field and you lock your rail, oh, there we go, into the tripod, the gun itself holds steady. Prior to installing this, when I would run this on um, my longer rail, it puts the center of gravity of the gun further away from the rail, which would cause my gun to want to fall. And it wouldn't just stay, um, you know, right where I want it. And now being that it's more in the center gravity of the um, tripod itself, um, you know, you've got a lot of control to uh, get out there and take those uh, pesting shot or shots, especially for you guys that do the um, uh, the ground squirrels or the groundhogs, um, you know, out west. And, uh, you know, even for us guys here, um, this is great. Um, I'm going to actually um, put one of these on my 35 caliber impact so that I can use my tripod out in the woods and uh you know take those those crazy uh shots um and still have it fully supported right i mean it's fully supported spinning it around once again you know it's it's not it's not drooping or anything like that of course my tripod's on carpet so my carpet down in my basement is quite um uh, plush so you know it's it's doing it its own movement but uh once again man crawford and lip knocks it out of the park with an another with another amazing addition to um our guns here and uh you know and, and here we are here we are we're uh we're living the dream now so if you guys are into arca which uh i would highly recommend um for especially like i said getting out and doing some pesting or even being out in your backyard and doing some you know you know offhand training or uh you know you just want that little bit of uh extra um you know smoothness in your bottle or whatnot on your impact um this is a great addition to that. So with that being said, I'm Moose. This is Air Guns of Michigan. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and keep in mind too that we are live five nights a week, Monday through Friday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys are welcome to join us, ask questions. We bring in all kinds of different air gunners, other content creators, and uh, we're always there to help answer any questions that people may or may not have. And uh, a lot of times people have questions after hearing some of our uh, live YouTube videos. So once again, thanks for joining in, everybody. Be good to each other. God bless.